Cowboy fans, cowboy fans, cowboy fans. This is what y'all get, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna separate let's make it the eighty percenters, you know. I know a lot of you cowboy fans are gonna get, you know, offended even though this doesn't apply to you. I don't give a fuck at this point. But this is exactly what y'all get. All you eighty percenters and and several other people, you know, that always talks about the Eagles, bro. Anything that goes on when it was the male cheerleading nonsense, you know, no one fucking cares about other than y'all. Let's be honest here. You guys reach harder than fucking Majin Blue off of Dragon Ball Z. But, you know, Carson Wentz getting paid, you know. Um, who else? Um, Malcolm Jenkins holding out. Unlike Zeke, he is back, by the way. Um, Jordan Howard comes to the Eagles. You know, whatever that was going on. You guys be the first to jump on and talk your nonsense, you know. I mean, let, let's just be honest here. You know, uh, apparently there's this law when it comes to the Cowboys. You know, no one is allowed to be excited for whatever player that comes here, you know, or whatever, anything positive that happens. If it's not, if it's not about the Cowboys, no one is allowed to be excited. Nobody. Eagles, Giants, Redskins, Patriots, whoever, you're not allowed to be excited. They're automatically washed. They're automatically trash, you know, according to them, you know. But if if if, if any player were to come to the Cowboys, they're Hall of Famers. They're this, they're that. They're going to be the best thing in the NFL. That's just how they are. They're nothing but a bunch of Skip Bayless-ass fans. You know, the fan, the, the you know what? Skip Bell is a perfect example of how you 80 percenters act. You know why? Because you, it's like the situation that's going on with Dak. He was offered 30 million. He turned it down. Why? I don't know. If you ask me, he's definitely not worth that money. I mean, and then there was news that he wanted 40 million, but now all of a sudden it turns out to be false. False. I mean, it's kind of funny because it wouldn't be all over Twitter. It wouldn't be all over ESPN. You know, if it was, um, you know, if it was really, if it was on in the first place, if, what Dak Prescott was asking for, it would not be all over Twitter and all over uh, ESPN and none of that. It wouldn't even be a topic, you know. And I'm sure they're pretty good at pointing out really fake news. So if any reason is considered false, it's probably because Dak Prescott noticed, you know, that he was getting laughed at, and then he liked deflecting everything. He was like, I was just joking, man. I was joking. You know, but got to love Cowboy fans because at one point they were so quick, right, to jump on the bandwagon. They was praising him off the fucking stage, bro. Like, it was all over that. It was all about that. Dak is the best thing in the NFL. Oh, Dak is the best thing in the NFL. You know, all, was so quick to compare him to Carson Wentz. Compare him to, try to say he's the next Joe Montana. Who can forget that in his rookie year, bro? Seriously. If I can go way back on Twitter, that's all I've been seeing. It was on Twitter. It was on Facebook. It was on all that type of stuff, bro. So many delusional shit going on, bro. But then the moment he got, they got swept by the Giants in his rookie year, they they were done. They were done with it. They were talking about bench Dak, trade him, do all that type of shit. Oh, and if you don't believe me, I'll even I'll even put the link in the description. I'll put the link in the description, all right? But we're talking about how Cowboy fans act. They quit on Dak Prescott, just like they're doing right now, because he turned down $30 million and apparently he wanted more. They turned him down. They were done. And now they're showing their true colors once again. <laughs> Gotta love Cowboy fans, bruh. Gotta love Cowboy fans. But all I gotta say is, man, I'm just happy. I am happy that my quarterback ain't acting like this, even if he wasn't getting paid that kind of money. My running backs, Jordan Howard, Miles Sanders, you know, um, Josh Adams, you know, whoever else is going to be on the team or not, Darren Sproles. You know, I'm happy none of them are acting like this. Alshon Jeffrey, Deshaun Jackson, 
Nelson Aguilar, J.J. Arcega, Whiteside, everybody you want to name. I know Sheldon Gibbs has been cut. That really sucked, but it, it, it is what it is. You know, we didn't really give him the chance all like that anyway. And besides, we were just getting better and better plays on the team. All right, so it is what it is. But I do want to wish him the best of luck. But none of them even act like this. But the fact that y'all try to come up here and talk that bullshit as if we're like y'all, it's a damn shame. But this is what happens. Oh, you know what? One more thing. Ezekiel Elliott. Y'all were feet. Y'all were talking about feed Zeke, right? Every time you got a first down, it was all over Twitter. Feed Zeke this, feed Zeke that. He's the best running back ever, you know, to go on. And I agree, he is the best running back in the NFL. But all this nonstop praising y'all were going, y'all were, you know, going about him. The fact that y'all were underpay him and everything is fucking laughable, bro. Y'all really thought, y'all really thought that he was going to let y'all sell him short. Y'all really thought that. I saw this coming from the gate. A lot of people saw this coming, except for y'all. The fact that you guys are really surprised about this. this the re, You know what? If y'all weren't so focused about my Philadelphia Eagles, y'all wouldn't be so shocked and as disappointed in the first place. You guys are extremely not thankful at all when it comes to your players. Y'all not thankful, because if y'all was, y'all would have gave him that money. The best running back in the NFL. The reason why you guys are even on the map, why you guys are relevant, your offense, why Dak is even talked about, is because of Zeke. But the fact that y'all going to pay Dak that kind of money, talking about, oh, well, you know, he's won a playoff game, you know, he has a positive record against the NFC East. No, 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 no. It's the team. It's not Dak himself, it was the team, and especially Zeke, because we saw the difference in 2017, who Zeke was, or who the team was without Zeke. We saw that Zeke can win games. He can run hella yards. He's a, he's a rushing champion. Two straight times, before, well, I'm sorry, not two straight times, but the, the two times he was in, you know, he was in the NFL, two out of three times, you know. It, it, it could have been his second year, but I felt like how they handled him was bullshit. I'll admit. It was bullshit how they treated him. Have, get him suspended for six games, no matter how, how many times he proved himself innocent. When there wasn't even any evidence. I get that to y'all. Zeke didn't deserve that. But had he not been suspended, he would have been rushing champion three straight times. Three straight times. But y'all not going to pay him that kind of money for that? The guy has nothing to prove. He proved that he's the best running back in the NFL. And you're, it's not your lineman because you're not, your lineman hasn't even been as good lately. So, I mean, but you know what? I saw this coming. And you know what, Cowboy fans? This is what y'all get. You 80 percenters. This is what y'all get. Always talking about the Philadelphia Eagles. Always talking about the Eagles. But now it's biting y'all in the ass because, you know, the fact that when y'all kept talking about the Eagles, now y'all all of a sudden are surprised about this, what's going on with your own team. Everybody saw this coming. And the fact that y'all didn't see this coming makes it hard to believe you guys are even Cowboy fans to begin with. So more of the story, Cowboy fans, mind your own damn business. Worry about your team. Because right now, by the time y'all realized it, now your off season is <laughs> quite a shit fest. <laughs> and I'm enjoying every second of it. I wasn't even making videos. I wasn't doing any of that. Maybe trolling here and there. But all I did was kick out and just ate some popcorn and just enjoyed the whole thing. Because y'all were doing the exact same thing to us. Always worrying about the Eagles. Always. Whatever goes on about the Eagles, you guys will camp up and talk shit, the good or the bad. But now look at y'all. It's biting y'all in the ass. That's exactly what y'all get. But here's what I'm going to say, because I know you guys want to say in y'all response, oh, well, you are you are afraid of the Cowboys, or the, didn't the Cowboys sweep y'all, or the Cowboys are NLC East champs. First of all, here's what I got to say. 
pay Zeke that money. Give Dak whatever he asked for. Pay Amari Cooper. Pay everybody on your team. And you know what? You don't have to do it now. I don't care if you do it by the season, quarter season, mid season. I don't care what you do it. But all I gotta say is make sure everyone is paid about time the Eagles and the Cowboys meet up. Cause you know what? I would love to win this money with everybody on the team. Cause when I get that cash in hand, you can't say you can't tell me shit. I don't want to hear a goddamn thing what y'all got to say. You had the entire offseason to do something. You know, last year, we were hurting. Yeah, we were. We had over 20 players hurt. Y'all, y'all, it's funny. Yeah, I am going to bring it up. We had hella players hurt. I'm not going to say over 20, almost 20. The Redskins had over 20 players, that's for sure. But the fact that we were plagued with injuries and the refs fucked us over. But you know what? Y'all just continue bragging about it, you know, even though we still took y'all to overtime for y'all to barely beat us. Y'all still bragging about it nonstop. You know, I still paid my bet, even though I think it was bullshit. But you know what? I'm not going to use any of that this year. Not any of that. But the fact that we were hurting with injuries Still barely, you still you still barely got past us. It's not going to be the same this year. Y'all can keep thinking that. Keep on thinking that. But it's not going to be the same this year. And, yeah, you can sit here and say I brought up excuses or whatever, just like y'all brought up excuses when Zeke didn't play, was, expen- was suspended. Just as y'all always brought up excuses when a lot of those players in the NFL was hurting when we won the Super Bowl. You are no different. You are absolutely no different. So, with that being said, I look forward to facing y'all, but I want everybody on the team. I want the exact same energy you guys been putting out, you know, last year. I want to see that energy this year. I want to see that cockiness. I want to see all that shit. Don't be quiet now. No, 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 no. Don't be humble now. No, 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 no. Because, no, don't do that. Don't start calling out Dak. Don't start calling out Zeke. Nah, give them that money because I want to play the Cowboys at their best because we all know without Zeke, you guys are trash. You guys are irrelevant. Dak Prescott is irrelevant. He's trash without Zeke. We saw it in 2017. Pay everybody that money. I don't care what y'all do now, quarter season, whatever, pay everybody that money. Because because especially beans though, when I say I'm going to be richer and everything, I already put my money where my mouth is. You know, betting with LL, betting with Boys for Life, betting with um um. Well, that's them two as far as cash goes. Then I made a bet with Mike Mosh drinking. I made a bet with uh, Beast of the East. I made a bet with uh, I think that might be it. I don't know, but I've made hella bets. So with that being said, I am going to talk my shit, just as I did any other time. And that's all I got to say. I guess everything I missed out on the entire offseason, I don't fucking know. But all I got to say is, I'm enjoying every single moment of your downfall, because y'all had that shit coming. Next time, Cowboy fans, stop worrying about the Eagles. And that's all I got to say. Worry about your own team. Fly, Eagles, fly.